Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. So that's now giving me a two second exposure. Two second exposure. And ISO 16. What? Oh no. Oh God. Oh dear. Yeah, oh dear indeed. We start this video at the halfway point of what has already been a difficult and frustrating shoot. And I have just realized that my light meter was set to ISO 16, which would have meant all of my images thus far would have been overexposed by four stops. And I have no way of knowing when the ISO 16 setting was accidentally dialed in. This is embarrassing, isn't it? Have I just wasted an entire photo shoot? Yeah, stick around to see what happened. All right. Hello everybody. Still on the Isle of Harris and my ferry leaves in about three hours. So I don't have much time. It's the middle of the day with quite bright sunshine. And I thought rather than just kill time in my van, I thought I'd break out Big Bertha. Now I haven't had suitable weather to use this camera because using this in wind and rain is not a good idea. But right now it's quite pleasant. So Big Bertha Fuji GX 617 panoramic film camera shoots 120 roll film, massive panoramic, six centimeters by 17 centimeters. <sighs> Me and this camera have had issues, but I'm hoping today all is gonna come good. And I'm gonna shoot black and white film because high contrast, blue skies, we've got some color filters. So yeah, we're just gonna go burn some film, waste some money, <laughs> and hopefully either learn a thing or two or maybe even get a nice image. Oh, mega. What a view. What a view. Okay, so I've got my composition set up. It's just a big wide view of the beach. Beautiful skies in the background and quite a lot of rain. <laughs> and I'm hoping that uh, that rain doesn't come this way. So it's looking quite dramatic at the minute. So believe it or not, we're actually losing the light. <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh man. And it's frustrating because it looks like we're losing the light and it's not really gonna come back because there is some big clouds, huge clouds. Oh, and now I'm rushing, now I'm rushing. Okay, 15th of a second. Ah, the light's gone, man. The light has gone, but we'll take the shot anyway. Why not? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that is so disappointing. We lost the light. We were about, I don't know, a minute. A minute too late. Oh God. Well, it's a shame that we lost the light. The image might still be nice. I wasn't sold on the composition, to be honest. Uh, so I kind of don't feel too bad, but I'm definitely gonna hang around and hope that the light comes back. So let's see if we can find a second composition. Fingers crossed, the light will come back. It's windy. 30th of a second. 30th of a second. All right, so uh, <laughs> once again, we are losing the light. It's just on the distant hill, but it's moving fast. No color filters as of yet. I feel too rushed to get the filters out. I just want to get the shot. So here we go, waiting for the wind to calm down. 
tripod is slowly sinking. Now it's not so. <laughs> Why can't I relax? Why can I not relax? Do any psychologists watch this program? <laughs> uh, 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 the lights, oh God, I hate this. Okay, so, so far this video slash photo shoot is not going very well for me. The images may well be fine. Oh, sun's out. Uh, the images may well be fine, but I'm, I'm fighting, constantly fighting, so. This camera takes a while to get set up and everything, and I've got the filming as well. And during the time it takes to set that camera up and then take a meter reading and film the process as well, the light changes. And so I constantly feel like I'm having to rush. I think what I need to do is accept that the light... Sorry, where was I? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the memory cards got full. Okay. I need to accept that the light is going to do what it's going to do. And if it means waiting for the light, then it means waiting for the light. I'm not going to rush. But with that being said, I didn't realize the memory card was full and the light happened over there and I rushed, but I got a shot. <laughs> um, I just didn't film any of it because the memory cards were full. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, I'll show you. I'll take you over to my composition. And I'll slowly talk you through the third shot, which I have just captured, but didn't record because memory card was full. All right, so here's my camera and you can see my composition here. Panoramic of water in the foreground, strip of sand in the middle, and then that nice, uh, nice shapely hill there on the horizon with all of these dramatic skies. Now, this strip of land here, this white sand, had direct sunlight on it. It was shining, it was singing, it was beautiful, whereas everything else was dark and moody. So I metered for that F8, not F8, sorry, F16, eighth of a second, took a shot with light on this strip. So with three images down, I feel like this third image is the strongest contender, and I'm so sorry I didn't film it. <laughs> we can blame poor, SD card management on my part. Oh, all right. <sighs> Taking it slow. So I'm certainly no expert, but my understanding is an orange filter will make the blues a lot darker and the yellows in the sand come brighter. So we're gonna get that contrast. We don't have light, we're not getting any light. This is it. Rain is coming, the wind's picked up. After this image, I feel like we're done. Shame we don't have light, but we do have filters. Come on, right, quick meter reading. Two second exposure. And ISO 16. What? Oh no. Oh God. I don't know how, but my filter was set to ISO 16. How did I not look down? Maybe that happened in my pocket. All right, well, this is embarrassing, isn't it? Ah, oh, right now I just feel like I want to go home. Ah, the joy and uncertainty of shooting film. Looking back, it seems obvious now that the light meter error was made recently. Otherwise, surely I would have noticed. So let's rewind back to my first image and see if all is okay. Ah, what a relief it was to get this film back from the lab and see that everything was just fine. The exposure is spot on, but as I said earlier in the video, I was not entirely sold on the composition. Although I do like the lone figure on the beach, unfortunately there are too many footprints and too much debris for my taste, but we're just getting started. Moving on to image two. Again, I wasn't really convinced with this photo. Now it's not, uh, 
Yeah, that inaudible mumbling was me whinging about just having missed the light. As a result, this image is a little bit flat, the sky's not great either, and nor is that little bit of sand creeping into the bottom right of the image. For me, image one, image two, mm, not too great. Now we're on to the third shot. I didn't film this because my memory card had expired, but look at the difference a bit of direct light makes. Now we're talking, image three for me is a success, and the tide had come in a little bit, so no distracting sand in the corner. This is a far better image than number one and number two. So now let us continue to image four, where I have added an orange filter and was certain that those three images were nothing more than wasted film. So F16, one quarter of a second, just waiting for the wind to drop, which is actually now. There we go, wind dropped. That is a roll of film done and I feel like this might be, this might be the only image from today. If, I have no idea when my light meter got set to ISO 16. No idea. The error that I made with my light meter setting it to ISO 16 may have actually been a blessing in disguise as I decided to load a second roll of film and continue shooting. Although there wasn't any light, there was no shortage of mood and drama. For my first image, I made my way over the grey shell littered sand of the previous image and settled my tripod on a much cleaner area of the beach. Right, this composition feels... feels good. Yeah, too windy. Whoa! Way too windy. Just give me half a second. Just give me a half a second of no wind. That, that was it, that was good. Whew. Cock the shutter. Wait for the wind to calm down. Come on. Damn it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That's probably the the lowest the wind will ever be. So, what felt like a total and complete failure actually turned out to be one of my more successful landscape photography shoots, even if I didn't realise it at the time. All that self-doubt just because I accidentally hit a few buttons on my light meter. Never mind. Yeah, never mind indeed. <laughs> um, but I think it's shoots like that that are only going to serve to grow my confidence and improve me as a photographer. So it's all about experience. Um, so even though it felt like the shoot was uh, not very good, actually um, I'm incredibly happy with a lot of those images. So yeah, it all turned out okay in the end. Now I wanted to finish today's video with a message from the sponsor, which is Squarespace. Now, if you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one 
website building platform. So as a photographer, you may want yourself a nice website, but you don't necessarily know how to code it and build it and web design and all that. Well, through Squarespace, you can use their intuitive drag and drop system. It's easy, it's simple, and it looks incredibly professional. If you get stuck, they've got 24 seven customer care, or as I've said for years now, just go on YouTube, look up a couple of Squarespace videos, and in no time, you'll have a great looking website. You can even register your own domain, such as, I don't know, filmphotolegend.com. I know, that's certainly not me. Um, so anyway, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and you get a free trial. And if you like your free trial, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. All right, thanks for watching. And until next time, bye for now.